Well, this fossil um, provides that another window into the past of here in San Diego County, going back maybe 100,000 to 200,000 years. It's the first time that we found a partial skeleton of this giant Ice Age bison, bison latifrons. Nikki, our, our preparator here at the museum, who helped excavate the fossil, she, um, yeah, she's had a, she's had a really wonderful time preparing this fossil because it's so well preserved. It has both horn cores that measure four feet across from tip to tip. Um, again, we've we've known that bison latifrons lives here and lived here in, in the Southern California region during the Ice Age, um, but we've never been able to look at the skeleton as complete as something like this. We found this on a construction site up north, in North County and uh, we were able to dig it out and bring it into the lab and I've been pre preparing it, taking off the matrix. The matrix is the word we use for the dirt and the rock that surrounds the fossil. And uh, I've just been slowly doing that. This is about the work of five days. And I've got about three more, three more weeks of work on it and it should be completely done. Fossils tell us a lo lot of different things. This particular fossil can tell us about the ecosystem that it lived in, which is really quite fascinating to think that it occupied this ecosystem with a, a bunch of organisms that, so many of which are extinct, Colombian mammoths, um, giant ground sloths, dire wolf, American lion, um, dire wolves, I already said that, saber-toothed cats actually too. So generally if we're on a construction site, all you're going to see is a small amount poking out of the dirt and you go to that area and you delineate how big you think this fossil is, you kind of get the edges. You don't completely take the rock off, but you do get a sense of where all the edges are. And after you do that, you, uh, you dig down around it, you create sides around it, and you dip burlap and plaster, and you cover it um, with the, the, the plaster. And then, uh, and then you kind of pedestal it so that you can get burlap underneath it, and then you flip it over and you jacket the other side. Jacket's the word for the, the plaster and the burlap. I was excited. Yeah, I got to go out. Uh, I, normally I'm working in the lab here, um, but I got an opportunity to, get, to go out and collect this with uh, the other crew members. And um, it's, it's fun to be outside working in the dirt. And it's fun to, to realize how important this, uh, this specimen is.